Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced tutorial. In this uh, video, we are going to talk about the example. So, in the previous video, we learned about the app.config file and then we learned the root level config with jsmachine.config file. After that, we learned about web.config file. So, root.web.config is common for all the web application and web.config is for a specific web application. Similarly, for desktop application, app.config file comes into picture. So, in our form, this is the display area. Here, we will display all the uh, value that is read from the config file. So, this will be a multi-line text box control. And here, we will specify the application settings key. Then we will click on the button application settings. So the application settings will be in key and value pair. So here it will be key and value pair. So that will be so that's how the application settings will be stored and we will supply the key on this text box and once you keep click application settings um, at runtime we will retrieve the value from the application configuration file and the retrieved value we will display here in the multi-line text box control then we have two check boxes pups and northwind once you place a check mark and if you click uh, get connection string it will retrieve the connection string from the application configuration settings and it displays that in the uh, multi-line uh, text box so towards the end of the video we will make use of the same application settings file and during the form load we will read a specific setting for color and apply that to the four color property of this multi-line text box control. So that's all we will do in this example. So first we will create the application configuration file. We will see how to place common application settings. Then we will see how to place a special setting like a connection string. Then we will read the normal setting and the connection string setting from the application configuration file. And finally, we will see how to read a specific setting and apply the uh, four color based on the application setting. So at runtime, you can simply change the configuration file uh, to show the text in a different text color. So this shows you how at a production system, uh, the user can change the configuration file based on that application behavior change. So these configuration files avoid recompilation. So you can specify all the configuration setting based on the configuration settings, application flow will take a different path and execute different piece of code, like setting a different four color. All right, that's all here about the example. Now we will go to the demo and see uh, control names. So here is the project. We named this as a read app config. And this one is the multi-line text box control. So text box. Then we change the multi-line property to true. 
other setting you can keep as you like and name here is a txt display output so we refer this uh, during the button clicks all right so this one is a button control and we named this as a btn op settings and this one is a btn count string so labels you can place as you like then here the text box is a txt key once user provides the key they click here in the application settings and see the relevant setting red and it is displayed in the multi-line text box then we have two check boxes we named it as a chk pops and this one is a chk n width that's all this um, empty form design template is available as um, download you can do the download from a video description that's all here uh, in this uh, video thank you for watching bye